Good morning, YouTube. I haven't uh, updated my uh, Samsung Galaxy S1 in a while. I'm running a uh, CyanogenMod mod on it, and uh, we go into the About phone. You can see I'm only at Android version 4.1.2, and I'm using a build from t November 2012. So previously to update Cyanogen Mod, you would download the newest build and flash it on your phone using Clockwork Mod. A few months ago, Cyanogen Mod added uh, a built-in update mechanism. So uh, let's update the phone today using that. So to do the update, within the About Phone section, there's a Cyanogen Mod Updates menu item. So I'm going to click on that. Let's today update to the newest one, which is dated 2013, March 4th. So I'm now downloading the ROM directly to the phone. Okay, our 10.1 file has almost completed downloading. You are about to upgrade to 10.1. If you press update, the device will restart itself in recovery mode to install the update. So let's go ahead. Okay, so we have booted back up into 10.1. Oh, looks like uh, we have an error here. Um, okay, so Cytogen Mod ROMs don't come with the Google apps. As you can see, Gmail is not included. Um, the Play Store app is not included. Uh, these applications have to be flashed separately. So uh, you'll see there's no... Uh, there's no Google account added to the phone yet. So let's flash GAPS. We can get the GAPS file by going to goo.im. Uh, we want to get the newest uh, GAPS download available for Jelly Bean. Okay, so the Google Apps file has downloaded. So now we can reboot into recovery and flash it. Okay, we have just booted back up after flashing the Google Apps file. As you can see, I am getting a lot of errors now. Um, all these pop-ups are the new apps stopping, so they're not working with this ROM. Yeah, so I've uh, logged back in, but still seems to be uh, lots of issues with this ROM. It's definitely very much in the experimental stages. I cannot even open the Gmail app. Uh, that's okay. It looks like uh, what we should do is just download a new ROM. This one is not working out. So we're just going to go to the Cyanogen Mod website, get.cm, and download the newest nightly. Here is the latest nightly uh, this is from last night cm 10.1 2013 so let's go ahead and manually download that to the phone okay so i rebooted back into recovery and now i am installing the the nightly version the dated 2013 april 8th today so that has been flashed. Now I'm going to also flash gaps again. Oh 
Home is set up. Ready to use. Looks like we're up and running now. Let's see if... Hey, we still don't have Google Apps. Although uh, we flashed Google Apps again, only the Play Store looks like it got installed. We have to install some of these manually. I'm not sure why Google Apps didn't install them, but that's okay, we can install them manually. Okay, I've installed the Google Apps. I'm also installing a Titanium Backup because I have some other app, backed up apps that I'm gonna restore. Okay, so now let's uh, take a look at our About screen. About Phone. Now we have 4.2.2 with a kernel that was built this morning. And we have Cyanogen Mod version 10.1. And now our Galaxy S has completely been updated. Thank you for watching.